Yeah, yeah, intro, whatever. You want to get the King Tiger or any of those fast, I know. Short answer, get one of these, equip it with this and go to war to shoot at infantry like you have a fully automatic barret 50 cal in a juggernaut shoot. You will be getting 127 XP for each kill. 190 in war. For the long answer, here is the XP you're gonna need. Here is what gives you XP and here is what doesn't. And here is the exact amount of XP. It took me and my friend 11 hours of testing to figure this out, uh, but here, you get it in 30 seconds. Drop a like. Also, a fun fact we found, the assist distraction kill XP goes to the last person who caused base structure damage 20 seconds before the target was destroyed, no matter how much damage he did. And that's basically all you need to come up with a strategy on your own. However, if you are a newbie just starting out and all you have is one of these, uh, hear me out. Avoid this game mode for now, because bots, as you have already noticed, don't give you any armor assault XP no matter what, and there will be no enemy tank that your city bullets can penetrate or kill for that matter. Instead, go here and join a skirmish battle on staged and keep shooting at enemy infantry players until you unlock this. Then you know what to do. Also, avoid buying this, even though I know how badly you want a tank with a cannon. Instead, wait until you unlock this, or better yet, wait for this. They will be very useful if you can't find a war battle and you are in a hurry to play the game. If that's the case, you go with them on Tonk vs Tonk. Don't forget to filter with light tanks. Now keep playing there until you unlock this and buy them. The reason I'm suggesting you this is because ideally, if you are planning to play this game long enough, you will need to have two or three different tank crewmen. One that has all the strongest anti-tank tanks with gunner and iron fist, one that has the best high explosive tanks with gunner and mechanic, and one that has all of the rest because you got money to burn. Whatever, I know you won't listen. Just avoid this piece of junk. And this. And this. And now, one famous way of grinding is getting one of these in your first tank Roman, joining Tonk vs Tonk mode, undeploying, getting back inside it with your second crewman and start grinding both of them, because the one will be getting XP for damaging and destroying tanks and the other because you are using his tank and you get gunner support XP. Sounds like a plan, right? Psych, this is actually an exploit and can get you banned and maybe even get your credits wiped because you are avoiding resupply costs like this, assuming somebody reports you. you have have been worn. Personally, I will keep to the first plan, until they nerf it. If they do. Once you get the tanks you want, feel free to grind for them in the Tonk vs Tonk mode and unlock the cells you want, since the field maintenance cooldown there is almost non-existent. It will be difficult at the start because you will have to learn where the weak spots are, what ammo to use, how the components work and how the armor health system works. However, I will be making a guide about all of these mechanics and a general guide of how to be an overall good tank crewman, so subscribe and ring the bell for that. Cha -cha, real smooth. This is a video about the armor assault after all. Now, because I don't want you to wait for that guide for long, here are my suggested cell loadouts for every tongue. And that's all. Leave a comment because it helps to get this video into the recommendations of other people who might need this guide. And I will see you with the other guide soon. Cha ciao. Okay, that's it with the Chinese meme songs. We are switching to Japanese anime intro songs. Uh, suggest your favorite in the Discord channel, yes? This is all the testing we did to figure the XP out. Jesus fucking Christ.